What's up, guys? Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back. And I'm here on the Disney Parks vlog because, well, first of all, first off, I would like to apologize for the lack of videos lately because, one, I wasn't at the park on Sunday because I was very exhausted. But, because, but two, and I, this also gave me time to up, update the videos here. <sighs> update all the videos. And now this one is kind of a bit of a surprise for those people. Before I do, let me check my email really quick. And by the way, folks, we did get some rain earlier this morning, which doesn't explain lack of videos because, well, I've been editing the last of them. I'm currently editing the last of them. The ones I'm hanging out with Fresh Faith. And oh, wait a minute, let's see. Oh, I was hoping for a, a new subscriber, but nope. But right now, last I checked, I'm nine away from 300. Uh, leaving. Alright, but now this is for those people that love my uh, food reviews at the parks. I have some news for you guys. We now have a list of stuff that I could do. One of them I could try on Friday. One of them is actually a very obvious. The place where I had lunch apparently had a, a meal, but there was nothing posted. Nothing posted. And let's see. First off, if you guys dine at the Blue Bayou, they have a Cajun rub, excuse me, apologies for the brain By the way, this this one, that one I'm probably not going to try. The Cajun rub pork, rub pork pork chop with a sautéed spinach, goat cheese, mashed potatoes. and just, uh, Yeah, you can read that. that uh, uh, sit down places I'm not going to try because, well, for obvious, for obvious reasons. Except for one, though, down the line. This one we're probably never going to try. This is going to be a one-off. The sugar cookie based... Dusted with powdered sugar and a cinnamon orange mulling spice. Now, Cafe Orleans. Again, they have a flat iron steak with peppercorn and crunching sauce. With a garlic mashed potatoes and green beans. Man, that sounds pretty damn good. And they have pumpkin beignet served with a vanilla cream anti-glaze. Jay, we're probably going to see, though, that term. That beignet is a lot. Back on Main Street, we have a chicken sandwich. If I get invited, then I'll try it. French Market, now we're getting into probably into my favorite category here in the terms of presentation. We have the Haunted Mansion Cake, which you can see here, that which looks freaking awesome. <laughs> I haven't, sadly, I haven't tried any res dessert before, which is going to be odd. We have Pumpkin Cheesecake, and we have a traditional shrimp pool boy with a popcorn shrimp, lettuce, tomato, vinegar dressing, and a Cajun sauce. That on a frozen potato roll, that one I could try because... Let's be honest, I have shrimp, honey walnut shrimp, so this one I could try. Ice cream parlor, we have the Halloween premium cone, which I'm probably going to try. Speaking of things I have to try, we definitely need to try the nachos. The ice cream nachos. We have the Central Plaza Cafeteria chart that has the cookie and the muffin. Not trying. This one could kick us off. This one could, what we're looking at here is the pulled pork hot dog. With a citrus slaw, fried jalapenos, and fresh cilantro. This one I could potentially, this could be the first one we're reviewing either Thursday or Friday. I haven't talked to my folks about, I haven't posted on that one yet, so. But so this one should kick us off. It also has an apple pie funnel cake. If anyone wants to try that, be my guest. Same thing with the Charlotte Baked Hockery and uh, vice versa. Morris Street has the pumpkin twist. I might try mid julep bar pumpkin beignets. I will try that. They have a pumpkin pie at the Plaza Inn and the Rancho de Zocalo. They have the pork tamale and cheese enchilada, which probably not going to try. But the orange pumpkin flan, I might. Here, I may have to go to the pizza port for this one. The Supernova Pizza Special, which has pastrami with mustard oil, mozzarella cheese, batter pickle chips topped with. A horseradish mustard sauce. Well, that sounds interesting. And at the Royal Street Renata, which I think that's where the where they have the mint julep. Oh wait, wait, what? They have the banana fritters with the cream anti glaze, which I don't know what we're gonna do. At the Tomorrowland Terrace, we have the Tomorrowland Terrace burger, which has a sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, green onions served with French fries, covered in a gross. Parmesan Ranch ooze, and as much as I like to try that burger, uh, the fries are a killer. But if you guys want me to, 
and don't forget, guys, you guys get to you guys get to choose which ones I get to try here. So, yeah, at the Villa's house, another restaurant I haven't tried. They have the Pleasure Island Fiery Chicken Flatbread, which has grill, glazed buffalo chicken with a Siriano chilies, diced red peppers, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and chipotle sauce. That could... This is probably one of the things that's going to be interesting. Now we're entering California Adventure Territory. Award winners has the Bat Mickey Cookie. Here we have the... Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, the Pumpkin Cheesecake at the Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. We have the Anti-Vampire Chicken Pizza, which this one has been on my... That one's on my hit list, people. So if you guys want me to choose this one, please do, because I that sounds really that I seen it, it looks really good. We have a roasted garlic sauce, chicken, smoked gouda, mozzarella, roasted red peppers, and a drizzle of tomato harassa sauce. They also have pumpkin cheesecake and a bat Mickey cookie, surprise, surprise. At the bread cart they have pumpkin shaped bread, blah blah blah. Now we're heading to the restaurants that trust me, this is the one I'm probably going to avoid because I don't drink. Excuse me, speaking of which, I have to get a drink of my Coke. They have a poison apple teeny with a crown royal apple, and I can't pronounce that, pucker sour apple schnapps and a cran cranberry juice. And at Clarabelle's they have Halloween sprinkles with a sundae, I think. I'm surprised they didn't post that. Cold bar, same thing. At the Cozy Cone, they have the Pumpkin Twist. At the Fiddler Bico Cafe, they have the Cookie. At Flo's VA Cafe, they have the Pumpkin Pie, which I don't know if they have the shake or not. I have to check that out. At Mortimer's Market, they have the Pumpkin Shaped Bread again. At the Beer Truck, they have German Beer, which that sounds really good. At the Pacific Wharf Cafe, they have a Pumpkin Muffin with a Struzel Topping. And vice versa, with a Bat Mickey Cookie. And they also have a... Pumpkin shaped bread and bread pudding, which that looks, <laughs> that sounds kind of interesting. At Smoothies, they have a caramel apple smoothie, which that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the cobweb topping with off of any burger with cobweb with Swiss cheese, grilled onions, and mushrooms. That one I may want to try out down the road. So uh, that one I could try out after my birthday, which is actually, which is actually a few. A couple weeks away, actually. So, yeah. And again, we're now we're at the Disneyland Hotel one. So these ones, I'm just gonna show off here because just because. Well, I'm not. Even though I don't stay there, I'm not gonna eat. These are the ones that are. These are the food items that are automatically out. Let's, there you go. And that's it, guys. And also, I'm going to leave this up to decision up to you guys. Which, guys, which food item would you want me to review? Remember, the sit-down places, they're out. And, oh, and actually, hold on, wait a minute. When does, uh, let's plan to, oh, and, uh, oh, better mute this just in case. Oh, this is actually the Soaring Over the World. This was scheduled to open next year for Florida, by the way. And so far, no date. Alright, guys, so that's it from here. I'm just waiting for the weather update. But right now, it looks like the rain is pretty much done here. So, either way, guys. Either way, guys. The Halloween food is here. And next time I come back, next time we do a food up update regarding the menu, well, it'll be time to be celebrating, ringing in the, with the merriest season of all. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. You guys get to choose which food items you want me to try. So, uh, see you later.